I want this one. I want to be a princess. <laughs> and why not be a prince? I can be the first princess boy. I promise you when you were here that I'd talk to my den and tell him all the truth. <laughs> so he would know who I am. Cut your... Jesus. Hi, mister. Nice to meet you. You must be Mr. Roger. I'm Alex. I'm Jesus' boyfriend. Nice to meet you, sir. Boyfriend? <sighs> go ahead, son. Now you can choose any costume to go as for candy. Go choose one. I want this one! I want to be a princess! Oh, Jesus, son. This one is for girls. And you are a boy. Why can't a boy be a princess? You always embarrass me when we go out. You see that the way you're raising him is not the right way. This boy needs a firm hand, Patricia. Uh, but honey, please, we must accept our son just as he is. He is just a boy who is a little different. A little? Look at him. A little? Look, uh, I'm tired of having always this same argument about our son. I'll be in the car. <sighs> okay, son. I want to ask you something. How many Princess boys, have you seen on TV? Mm, not one. You see? <laughs> Look, you can wear this costume. <laughs> of course you can. But people will be very mean. And more because they're gonna see something they're not used to. Why don't you... Why not... Be a prince? I can be the first princess boy! Jesus, son, do you really want to be a princess? Welcome. I have a surprise for you. But close your eyes first. Hmm? Don't open them. the day my mom accepted me as I was, as I am. We were inseparable for years.
Jesus, son. If you want to be a princess today, I will support you. But if you want to be a prince tomorrow, it's the same. I will always support you because I'm your mother and I love you. But life had a surprise that knocked me down. <laughs> You're gone, mommy. I promised you when you were here that I would talk to my dad and tell him all the truth. so he would know who I am. <laughs> but I'm afraid. <laughs> I'm afraid, Mom. <laughs> He said he needed fresh air, but I think it's been a while. <sighs> Cut your Jesus. Hi, mister. Nice to meet you. You must be Mr. Roger. I'm Alex. I'm Jesus' boyfriend. Nice to meet you, sir. Boyfriend? What the hell is he talking about? Dad. Don't call me like that. How dare you bring to your mother's funeral this weirdo? Is this a joke to you, Jesus, or what? No, 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 my mom will never be a joke to me. Look, I promised my mom in her deathbed that I would tell you all the truth, the truth that she already knew. Look, she told me to give you this, Dad. I won't read anything, Jesus. I'm hurt enough with your mother's passing to have to deal with this humiliation. Get out of here! No, D please, please, you have to understand me, to accept me. Look, I've always, always loved men. Look, look, Alex, Alex, he makes me very happy, Dad. Don't want to hear you anymore. Shut up. I said you live. I won't say it again. Get out. No, no, Dad, please, Dad. Sir, sir. You're getting worked, Tom. You need to calm down, if not. You mo Weirdo! What have you done to my son? No, Dad, what please, have you no, done? You turned him into this. I wish it was me that wasn't any no. earth. Somebody have to see this. Jesus. No, Dad, please. Jesus, your dad. Don't let him go, Dad. Jesus. Is it no, Dad. Jesus, please your dad. Jesus, Jesus, dad, your dad please, is fainting. No. Dad, oh, thank God you woke up, Dad. Dad, look, Alejandro is a cardiologist. He, he saved your life. You suffered a heart attack. And as I can see, you want to give me another one, right? Look, look, Dad, I, I know you have a lot of things to assimilate. I, I did it throughout the years, but I want to be honest with you. With the only family I have left, this is, this is me. Look, sir, I know this is hard for everyone, but love is love and... Don't touch me, you pair of faggots. What? Do I have to accept this just because? That people would mock of me because I couldn't straighten you? Your mother raised you really bad, Jesus, and that one really turned you gay. Okay, Dad, look. I can accept any insults you give me. 
but I will never allow you to disrespect my boyfriend or my mom. If you want me to leave your life, okay. But I'll just ask you one thing. Do something good and read this letter. And what are you looking at? Do you like me as well or what? I want another doctor. A normal one. Get out! Look, sir. I'll ask you one last time. Do you really want a life without Jesus in it? Yes. And I'm not asking for your opinion. Am I clear? Now what I'm gonna do, Patricia? You left all this baggage to me! <sighs> Roger, my last words will be for you. Don't be the stubborn man that I marry and read very carefully. I know Jesus and you don't have the best relationship, but he loves you and I know you do too, even if you don't understand it completely. In the beginning, it's gonna be hard to process, but the truth is that we only live in fear, but our son is terrified. See you like this, and even if I try, I don't know what to do. Nobody teaches you to be a parent, you know, and even less how to face this. I would like to know what to do, so they wouldn't be cruel to you. You always took care of him, the way that you knew, but now I'm not there anymore. And he only has you as his support. <sighs> if you're asking, where did you go wrong? It was living in your own world without letting you know his. Don't lose the same day, your wife and your son. I love you, Roger. I'll be waiting for you, honey. Well, honey, what's the surprise you have for me then? <gasps> Behind you. Hi, son. How are you? What are you doing here? And how dare you call me that way? I want to explain it. May I come in? No, no, you may not. You don't know how hard it was for me cutting you out of my life. Is this some kind of joke, Alex? Of course not, honey. Look. Your dad is here with good intentions, at least listen to him. I... was wrong. I chose to live in ignorance to avoid their reality, son. I forced you... to hide who you are because thought that that way people wouldn't hurt you. And in the end, I know I'm the one who hurt you the most for a long, for a long time. And I want you to forgive me, son. I'm sorry. Don't you think it's too late? I don't want you in my life again. Jesus. Your dad contacted me some days ago. He's been trying to reach you for months. But since they transferred me, he couldn't find us. And if you still don't want to know about me, I understand it. I know I'm not the perfect father, but if you give me another chance, I promise you and your mom that it's in heaven that I'll do it this I just... I don't know if I believe in you. Look, look. Got you something. Something I've been saving all this time. 
this is the tiara of your first costume. You wore it 20 years ago. I saved it because that day I understood that you were different, son. Although I hid it because I couldn't face it. I'm so sorry, son. I think it's been the worst mistake of my life. I've missed you so much, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> well, I made a delicious lasagna for lunch. Will you like to join us? Yes, of course. Yes. Fine. I'll start setting the table, okay? <sighs> we all have our own identity and we deserve to show it freely. Sometimes our generations don't understand these topics. But love is love, no matter the time that we live in. <laughs>